Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm M. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some, if not all, of the new features from the latest update of the Note app, Color Note. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Color Note is a free note-taking app that is compatible with iOS 14 or later, iPad OS 14 or later, and a Mac OS 11 or later, and a Mac with Apple M1 chip. So I already made a walkthrough about Color Note in my previous video, so I won't be going through all the same features, and I'll just be sharing with you what's new in Color Note. So it's just the same homepage from the previous one. There are folders that you can delete, move, and rename. Same doc icons down here, the quick note, new note, import PDF, new folder, and the settings icon. First, let's open the settings. Under the general settings, they added a trash bin wherein you'll be directed to this site that tells you how to restore or empty your deleted notes and folders. Same quick notes options, and they moved here these two options. So now let's create a folder for this tutorial. When you add a note, there's the additional tab for digital planners, and these are just the light or the free versions, but you can purchase them from their websites. So for this video, let's say for example, you purchase this one. You can go to the menu and choose whether to single tap or double tap the hyperlinks of the digital planner. So going back to the Create New Note tab, you can either handwrite or type in the name of your notebook. So the paper and the template options are now in two separate tabs, and the color option is placed on top of the paper styles. And we have the same old paper designs and a few new templates in here. Unfortunately, Color Note doesn't have a paper size and orientation options, but the default pages are in portrait. Same interface in the workspace, but there are additional features in some of the icons and toolbar. Up here is the menu, and under the Most Used tab, they removed the option to highlight behind handwriting and placed it in the highlighter tool instead. They also repositioned the Favorite Tools for All Notes option and moved it in the Pen, Pencil, and Highlighter tool. Same options in the Gestures settings, but I guess I haven't shown you how this works in my previous video. So you can undo with two fingers either by single tap or double tap, same for redoing with three fingers. You can also choose how long to hold to draw shapes. And there's a different option for the palm rejection. It's changed to high, normal, and low from the previous percentage options. There's also an additional option under the app settings. You can now change the wallpaper behind your note. However, selecting from your library is only for beta testers. And the rest of the options are retained. Beside the menu icon is the share tutorial icon where you can share your video through email. There are also updates in the toolbar. So first is the pen tool. There are now two pens available for the pen tool. There's the ballpoint and the fountain pen. However, the pen pressure sensitivity option was removed. And they added an advanced settings in the pen, pencil, and highlighter tools. 
So in the advanced settings, you can enable the use of the same set of favorite tools for all your notes. You can turn on the sound effects while writing and while drawing shapes or even erasing. You can still add hovering icons of all your favorites. So this option is available only for Apple Pencil users. So the Lasso tool can aid in recognizing your handwriting to text. However, you cannot change the color of your converted handwriting. Change it to pen, pencil, and marker type, and also change the hue, width, and color. And finally, an improvement in the text tool. You can now type in the text box on your page, unlike the big whiteboard looking that pops up previously. You can change the style of your selected text and choose the font, font size, and the color of your text. So there's an additional laser pen and the other tools that you can customize and this lasts for a second or two. So you can use this for teaching or when collaborating with your peers. No new changes in the translate tool, automatic shape tool, Fill tool, curve tool, and laser pointer. Still one type of ruler here. and the hand tool to enable writing with finger. You can add images in the plus icon, either take a photo or insert from library. You can even drag the photo straight from the internet or from your gallery. You can resize or rotate the photo, bring to front or back, flip the image, apply filter, blur, draw on it or add text and crop in these shapes.
and you can even move your selection across your pages. They also added new sticker packs like the anatomy, travel, school supplies, and also calendar stickers. You can also add hyperlinks and links to your notes, still the same options for the collaboration icon and the pages icon. If you've noticed, a page number is also added at the bottom of each page. Highlighting the PDF documents is one of the updates that I've been looking forward to, but I guess they did not improve it at all. It's still saturated that it's kind of hard to read. So to use the OCR or Optical Character Recognition in Colonode, go to the plus icon, click Scan Document with Camera, Snap the photo and click Recognize Text. Or click the Scan Text with Camera to automatically convert the image to text. However, for some reason, it's hard to edit the converted text. The text box seems to wander around my workspace every time I edit, so I guess this needs more improvement. So I've encountered a question in the comment section about the number of folders that you can make. So I've made a total of 40 folders for the demo, but you can still make more than that. Same with creating subfolders. Okay, so that's the end of my update about Colonode, and I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please do subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video. Peace.